Hey everyone, this is Kevin, your failed journalist. I know I haven't updated the layout yet. We're, we're working on it. We're, we're going to have it more in tune with the new channel name. By the way, thank you so much for all the positive things you're saying about the new name. I'm uh, People are a little confused, but a lot of people seem to like it. So uh, thank you so much for liking it. Well, anyway, I've got some potentially good news. And here's the thing. As much as I'm reporting on bad news, because there's just a lot going on right now, we should also focus on some good news to remind people that, hey, you know what? What we're going through right now, it's not forever. It's not permanent. Things will get back to normal. But we're starting to feel a little anxious because here's the thing. It's been two weeks since I've been to a movie theater. Uh, the last time we went to the movie theater, we saw two movies, a double feature. We did uh, The Portrait of the Girl on Fire, with which there was like two people in there. And then we saw... I still believe in IMAX of all things. There was a few more people in that one, but it was interesting how they were so evenly spread out. So, you know, it's we were definitely concerned, but we, we felt like we had to live some sort of a normal life. And then, of course, the theaters closed, and we haven't been to one since. And I've definitely missed it. I have missed it so much. Well, here's the thing. According to Deadline, um, China's movie theaters could be reopening soon. And they've actually got a pretty brilliant idea on how to revitalize the theater. And I think it's something that America should follow if, in fact, this is true. So here's the thing. We are hearing from U.S. industry sources as well as those on the ground in the PRC that the offices of China Film Group in Shanghai and those of China's Film Bureau are reopened for business. A sign that the country's exhibition business is on its way to a gradual recovery after being shuttered since the Lunar New Year due to the C virus, which we can't talk about. It's a respite that has cost China's box office at least two billion more. Now, this is coming from the IMAX CEO, as he stated, they're starting to lay out a plan for the relaunch of cinema in China. They're starting to assess what movies are available in what time periods and how they want to manage the reopening. Now, how are the, what are they going to be doing exactly? Um, well, here's the thing. When it reopens, it's not going to be with a big product, nor will it spur immediately the same enormous box office results. Um, because It's going to take a little bit of um, patience and time because, you know, people have to get comfortable with going back to the theaters. However, what they're doing is actually kind of brilliant. They are, for at least like the first week or two, they're not going to be showing like new movies. They're actually going to be showing old movies. Now, why are they showing old movies? Because again, we're, we're just coming off this thing. There's a lot of people who are still concerned about going out to the theaters. So they are going to be showing classic films in the theaters. And instead of the studios taking like a portion of that, all the proceeds are going to be going to, or most of the proceeds, like it might be like, um, 10% that the studios get, but most of the proceeds are going to go to the movie theaters who desperately need an infusion of cash. So I think this is a win-win situation for everyone. Basically, the theaters start to open again. They show classic movies that, hey, maybe you didn't get a chance to see them in theaters the first time, so you're going to go and you're going to buy, buy tickets to see them. And since the margins are usually razor, razor thin, hey, that's not going to be an issue this time. Now they collect all the money. And they're probably going to do this for at least a couple weeks, and that will put some money well into the coffers of the theater's pockets. Once the studios are convinced that people are starting to come back to the theaters more and more, and maybe they aren't so concerned about it anymore, guess what? You can start putting new releases back into the theaters, and then they would pro business would probably resume, resume as normal. Now, the re-release movies that they've uh, currently got um, lined up are Monster Hunter, sorry, Monster Hunt, Wolf Warrior 2, The Wandering Earth, which is a good movie, and N Niza, which is a pretty good movie. I saw that in IMAX 3D, um, and that was actually pretty good. And there's going to be some U.S. catalog titles as well, such as the Avengers movies, Interstellar, uh, Inception, but that's still being hammered out, although those are great things to do. Now, they are planning for the second wave of titles to start showing up in mid-April. And that will be U.S. movies that have already been cleared and are just waiting for release. So, they're going to have 1917, Doolittle, Ford vs. Ferrari, Jojo Rabbit, Bad Boys for Life, and Sonic the Hedgehog, as well as a new Chinese film, Detective Chinatown 3, which I've actually seen the first one. That's, um, you know, that, that's not too bad. Now, it's still undetermined about movies like Mulan when they're going to get released. I, I, I think Mulan will probably get pushed back to next year. 
I think they're going to probably now want to save that for the Lunar New Year next year. And, you know, because it costs so much money. Now, here's where the good news really comes in. First of all, the fact that the theaters are starting to open shows that life is starting to get back to normal. Now, they've been on lockdown for months, pretty much, because they were ground zero for all of this. If they can start recovering and they can start reopening business again, guess what? We will start recovering and we will start reopening business again. The movie theaters are not going to go away. I do believe this is a strategy that should be emulated in America. When it's time for the movie theaters to open back up, mom and pops, um, chains, whatever, I think the, the studios should be wise and give them classic movies to show and say, hey, you can keep all of the revenue for like, let's say three weeks because they, the studios need these theaters to survive. So, or maybe take just a very, very small portion, get people used to going to theaters again, and then you can start opening up the movies again. Now that said, there is at least one movie theater that opened in China since um, all the theaters had to close and it got zero customers. And this shows the uphill battle we're going to be facing on this one. So in a development that's sure to make the movie industry just feel absolutely fantastic, the first movie theater to reopen in China admits the C virus got very few customers after opening their doors to the public following their long break, Variety reports. Oh, did I say very few? Not scrolling up two centimeters to check. It turns out zero moviegoers showed up on the first day back in business. Not good. Well, of course, because the thing is, it's still not completely under control in China. They're starting to experiment with bringing people back to work. But, you know, it's still there's still a lot of cases out there and people can still get sick. It's just finally on a downward trend, which is good. I mean, I, I know there's some controversies about how that you know, took place, but you know, there you go. So now they do have this live poll. Do you think it's important for to keep movie theaters alive? Uh, I'm going to say yes, very, very much so. And it looks like a lot of people actually agree. So here's the thing. The theater shut its door on January 26th. So yeah, about three months, um, prior to doing a soft opening on Monday. Yeah, it's a soft opening. Um, there were 22 movie screenings and that the business attempted to lure potential patrons by giving away free screenings for parents and children who are members of the cinema, and it didn't work. Um, the theater said, we can't stay close forever. We can only cooperate with the notices and test the situation a bit and see what feedback we get from the public. If there are no new films, it makes no difference if we're open or not. At the moment, we only have these few films. We have to wait and see if there will be new movies released. So the th cinema has three people on staff. Um... And they've been dis disinfecting anything. So here, here's the thing. It, it was a little bit of an experiment. And it seems like right now nobody wants to go to the theater. That's probably not going to be the case here. When the first movie theater opens in America, guarantee you people will be there. It might not be a lot, but people will be there. However, this is, again, encouraging. It shows that the theaters are starting to come back. They're starting to, you know, because here's, here's another thing to keep in mind. If they start opening in China, not, not that I like being dependent on China. I actually have huge problems with that. However, if they start opening in China, while we're still closed, movies can still be released over in China and start getting the studios some money again. And it'll just be like a slow rollout across the world, but it'll keep them busy. In fact, I'm kind of hoping that with the theater starting to recover in China, maybe some of the movies that they're going to do uh, direct to VOD, maybe they just think, hey, we're going to delay that a little bit longer because the situation is starting to improve. I, I don't know. But we see, but three months, that seems to be what we're expecting right now. Maybe four. Things will recover, though. Things will improve. And I'm looking forward to going back to the movies. I mean, I've been streaming a lot of stuff and I've been watching like Criterions that I have never watched. I've definitely been doing doing the backlog thing, but I do miss going to the theaters, I, it's just not the same to do it at home. However, that's where we are going to leave this story. What do you think? Do you think this is a, do you think we're starting to recover? Are you excited about movie theaters coming back? Or are you probably just never going to go to the movie theater again after this? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. I'm your failed journalist because I may be a failed journalist, but a failed journalist is successful. And whereas a failed comedian is never funny. Have a good one. Flame responsibly.